I'm Tiamsen. Welcome to another video on E3D. Today we're going to show you a TDS plugin called RBM Export. This will allow you to export RBM with attributes that you can select. We will put this PML into a shared website where you can use in your daily work with E3D. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's start by showing you how the software works. After you have logged, downloaded the PML and installed, you can customize your tab to include this TDS RBM export for your users to use. This is a community edition that is given to you and you can use it for any of your work in E3D. So the first thing that you need to do is to add all the elements that you want to export. Next, you will write where to actually output the RBM file to. I'm putting it in the C drive RBM directory. You can see that the directory is now empty. Now we just select the export and the system will export the two files, the RBM and the attribute files. For this case, you don't have to do two export, you just have to do it one time with the export button. I will now pause the video while the export is underway. Once the export is completed, you can see that in the directory we have two new files, the RBM file and the TXT file. Let's open the file in Navisworks. Now when I select a structure member, you can see that there is a name and type in the structure member attribute. Now let's zoom in on the piping component and you can see that when I select the elbow, there is also a PDMS attribute with the information about the elbow that we have selected. Now I'm going to show you how we can control the attributes that are output from the E3D. There are three files that are provided in this plugin and they should be installed in the PML lib directory. The file TDS export ATTR allows you to customize the attributes that you export. So when an element has any of these attributes, it will be exported. So for example, I may like to have cut length and let's say the weight for the component that I exported. So I just put cut length and gross weight into the file. Let's do our export again and this time we call it EXP2. Again, I will pause the video as the export is underway. Now that the export is completed, let's see what we have exported in Davisworks. Let's create our new export file called exp2. Now you can see the new cut length and the gross weight for the structural component that we've exported. And for the piping component, you can see the G weight of the component. Please download and please give us any comment on this plugin. We hope you will enjoy it and use it in your daily work with E3D. Bye.